this is a central ingredient to what it is that we're talking about here. This is kind of the, <laughs> this is ketchup, but this is the, um, the frame, the construct that we as a civilization uh, have embraced the one that we are uh, playing with all the time it is the very shape that our as I like to call it manufactured reality has taken up um, however this very one this this one here uh, we, we would usually call it a cube but this one looks a bit different because it has these things in there how is that why is that well that's why it's a construct because the thing in there is a struct it's the structure whereas this uh, circumscribing yellow cubic shape is a con <laughs> it's the thing that is conning us it's also what the structure is added to to make it something so in latin that would be construct meaning with structure but the structure in here does not need the box so what happens and this is one of the core lessons if you like that Bucky left us with Bucky Fuller what happens if we take off this cubic shape because it's really just holding on to the corners of the structure within it and one by one I loose, loosen these and as I take off the last one it becomes clear that while the structure remains the construct has gone now here is where synergetics takes a departure from our conventional what do we call common sense our geometry our mathematics our uh, legacy of Greek metaphysics in all of these disciplines because while the Greek and perhaps the Babylonians before them chose this to be the the frame of reference and the unit of well some of it is the unit of area some of it is the unit of volume the unif unit of conception um, while they chose this it only works as long as we declare space and time to be separate when we say one is without the other because the moment that we go into space-time which is where we truly live um, it becomes apparent that this con act this construct without the struct this non-struct so to speak is not a form it's a transform it's not capable of holding shape it's not valid as a volume unit but its definition as such the normalization of this has dire consequences because if this is our unit then all the other units that we find in universe become incomprehensible they become rendered irrational because if I choose the square to be sides of one then what we had in there the construct is the square root and that would be the square root of two and however we nudge and budge it it will not become any rational um, relationship it's an irrational one meaning that this thing both the triangles that make it up and the volume of it are rendered irrational they aren't though they aren't by default they are so by definition because what we do in synergetics is that we look at this and without going into the details what this really is right now because this w I call this a four eyes because I call a triangle an eye and this has four triangles so it's a four eyes um, this is really four spheres drawn close together 
and I do have plenty of examples and models to show exactly what these relationships are that I am sort of alluding to right now for the lack of both time and um, the m models because I went out in the garden and they are in inside and well I, well I decided on bringing a few but whenever I do make that kind of choice I have to cast a few by s to the side so I do not right now I have a model of these four spheres just as those to show but nevertheless this is the four eyes and in synergetics this is the quantum this is the volume unit so this is a unit volume one uh, it's area even though there is no surface there but the the area of its eyes is four triangles four eyes that's our unit of areas and there's much more to be said about this because this leads to a lot of other things down the road um, now again I'm, I'm not going to go into all the details here that's way too deep uh, this is just like a, a, a light-hearted introduction um, but I'm gonna show you that this is also not some people would look at this and say oh yeah it's because of the static it, it's statically sound no it's not it's structurally sound and that is a dynamic state this is a living animate structure why is that when I say so well if I do take out another one of these connections here see these straws that I have here they are strung up with a string and there's some beads involved in the end sphere and some skewers inside of the paper straws because otherwise they tend to bend really easily but the moment that I took out this connection you see how this is all moving this is like a, a pair of eyes and this is like a, a butterfly uh, or a bird or something but you see how this is not static this is not lifeless um, this is actually transforming as well it's just that by introducing all of the uh, connections this is actively holding its shape because it turns out synergetics tells us synergetics tells us that structure and triangle are identical so this is a different sense of what a triangle is than the Greek because in the Greek sense the triangle is one of the polygons and whether you have a triangle or a square or a pentagon or whatever it doesn't really change much about their nature it's just telling us how many parts there are to it however in this embodied reality here we find that there is no such thing as a polygon see if I uh, how do I show you here yeah. let's take this one you see even if I double this up <laughs> this is now many straws with string but you can see how this is not a polygon this is not a square right there's no stability here there's no shape unless I hold it or I put it on a paper which holds it but this in itself doesn't um, and no, neither do uh, pentagons and hexagons and so forth if I do have a hexagon like this it can hold shape but it's still able to move and fold that is different for the triangle because the triangle is not a polygon it is structure see this is one of the two that I took out of the four eyes um, and each one of these is a set of three straws in synergetics these would be considered vectors or I could call them I would call them fingers and these three fingers are m moving there's nothing defining any shape here if I take two of them like so it becomes clear that this is a pair of levers so I have leverage if I try to hold them in shape on this end it's very tough very hard 
very much effort involved. If I go to the other end here, far from the fulcrum, then this is the easiest thing in the world to hold this in any particular po position because I've got all the leverage on my side. So if I put in a third member on that place, opposite to that fulcrum, that third member holds this angle in place without any effort at all. No, no effort. And likewise, this one holds that and this one holds that. So the whole thing in the circle is holding its shape um, effortlessly. It's also defining a plane, which the square doesn't. Uh, I'm trying not to go too deep into this right now, uh, which is a balancing act, because I, I could always... There's so many uh, tangents and trajectories to pick. But you see, this is one of the triangles of these two that I had integrated and combined to make a four eyes, which in turn was able to hold this as a construct in shape. Um, and in there hides another one of the beauties of synergetics, because synergetics lets us know that unity is plural and at minimum two. Now if I take any sphere, it's already, or any body really, it's already a unity of at least two because it's got inside and outside and both of those are spheres they are congruent but they are anything if not distinct um, so in this case I have one unit and another one eye and another and by integrating them they turn into four eyes not just two triangles but four triangles I'm not going to do that now. I'm currently I'm taking these apart, but uh, I began with it in place, and you can go back in the video if you don't believe me. This is still the same members that made up that four eyes before. So here's another one of those supposed cubes. Rather cute, this one. Not acutely aware of being a cube and not able to hold that shape either. So it's the same situation as with this. However, you may notice that these straws are a little longer because this is the original size of these straws and I had to cut these ones down to have them fit with the original length of the triangles as the square root because I needed to make this a model of a structurable cube a constructible cube, one that could actually become a cube by adding the four eyes in it. But because I only had one size of straws to begin with, that was my predetermined length, and I had to cut these other ones short, which in turn left me a, a, a dozen straws, uh, pieces of the straws here, which are currently in this configuration. Well, this is what where this comes in because um okay you know what because of where we're taking this i'm actually going to put this back into place so i'm i'm doing what i promised not to do i'm taking these two eyes one and two and i'm integrating them so that they become one plus one is four Four eyes. Okay, so you see, I I add what I call the fingertips, that's these little beads, into what I call the corners of the eyes. And by doing so, this is taking shape. So we already have one eye, and here comes another. Oops. And this where this would be where we, you know usually think one plus one is two. However, there's a leftover, a rest here. And when we put that in place, the two become four. And what we find here, we find it all along this way. We find it in any corner of this 
beautiful universe. We find it in every aspect of synergetics, but we also find it present in this case is synergy, which is why it's called synergetics. And synergy is the behavior of the whole that cannot be anticipated or found in any one of the members of this whole if taken apart. So any one of these straws would not let us know anything about the behavior of this whole four eyes, which is a whole body because it's a membrane binding the outside to the inside and defining a center of gravity, which turns out we can actually manifest with that supposed uh, cube shape. If I put it around this like so, I can actually make it uh, become a handle to hold on to the center of gravity of the four eyes here. All right, so we're back at where we started. I put this yellow frame around my four eyes, thereby constructing the cube shape, the cubic shape. And now this one is completely made up of triangles. This contains only triangles now. And that's why it's stable, because now everything about it is structure. It may not be the most well-balanced structure, because there is a, a, a clear difference between these members and these. And in conventional terms, if this is normal, because these are at right angles to one another, that would make this one abnormal. We can talk at length about the implications of that. However, this now, this is the, the cubic shape that these straws couldn't be if I hadn't cut them short so that they would fit the four eyes. But what happens now if I recombine, reconstellate, reconfigure this here model? One of my favorite models, it turns out, because it's a perfect model of systems change. I take these apart and you see it's completely collapsible, foldable into this bunch, this bundle. And what happens now if we do not try to make it a cube, but instead we go a different path and we triangulate? So I'll begin here. I'll, you see here is a square in it, um, which isn't a square. It's not even defined as a shape. I put in this member and it becomes a pair of eyes, much more defined but still moving. Put in another triangle, just placing these buttons, these beads, into the corners of the eyes here, fingertips into corners of eyes, and thereby I create the structure one by one. You see, this would be where conventional wisdom would have us see a pi pyramid, uh, but this one, this so-called square base, isn't a base, it's not even a face, it's not even there, it's just a gap between the triangles. And unless we place it on the ground to complement the triangulation, it's not stable. Uh, watch what happens, we continue and we get to something that looks almost a little bit like a snail. We add another finger here and we're almost there. Now it's already well defined in, in the kinds of uh, shapes. Hold on. Huh. It's all already well defined in the kinds of shapes that this moves through. And lastly, I put in the last connection. And by doing so, this transform turns into a form. It becomes structure. It is stable. It is well defined and it's still moving, but all at once, all as one. Because this is a whole, again, a whole system, a whole body, a whole structure. And you see how it relates to this cubic thing. Um, because it's got the same length as the four eyes in the cube, where I have not had to cut these short to make them a cube, 
I was able to put them together in this way, creating what I call the eight eyes. And now here comes the, the fun bit, because Synergetics is also giving us a means of qualifying, not just quantifying, but qualifying volumes, because now we have redefined our we have redefined our unit of volume from the cube to the four eyes in it. And while the volume of the four eyes in conventional terms is irrational if the cube is the unit, um, it's not so the other way around. If the quantum in here, the, the four eyes, is our unit, unit volume one, then this particular cube that is structured by it, embracing it, has a volume of three quanta. Whereas this eight eyes here, which had the same has the same number of straws or vectors as the cube had before I have I mean it's the same it's the same number of fingers as the, the cube without the triangulation, without having to cut them short, without creating waste. Remember, I had leftovers from the yellow straws. I had extra work to make it happen, and I need to have extra straws to put in here. And this is straws, this is paper straws. Imagine doing the same thing with trees, and the, the amount of waste generated by forcing trees into boxes when they grow in series. And here comes the bit that is truly mind-bending, because it turns out this f eight eyes here, that is less work it's less effort, it's less waste, no waste at all. And it is more stable, more aerodynamic, more dynamic in general. And it's also bigger than the cube that had all these detrimental side effects from waste to effort and so forth. It can actually embrace the box. And it turns out that the quantum volume, if the quantum is the four eyes, the volume of the cube is three, the volume of the eight eyes here is actually four. Okay, let that sink in. This is less effort, less waste, less all of that. Let's less force, forcing. But it's giving us more volume, it's more room in here. And not not just a little more, but quite substantially more. Um, and it's only just the beginning. 